Hello boys and girls. It's been Robson here. Been a while since the last lot of quick starts, hasn't it? That's basically because there wasn't a whole lot to cover in my box 2010 and I was sort of, you know, tied up with plugins and all sorts of things. Now, this is something I'm pr it's a preemptive strike, you may say. Now, the pause tools in my box 2011, uh, those of you, you know, won't if you see this straight away, you won't have access to it yet. Uh, some of you may well do already, but this is something you will need. I want to show you something. Now, first of all, it's a good idea to put um, any pausing on the layer. Now, I'm just quickly going to uh, paint some weights on here. Just get everything so it's uh, so it's nice and just a basic deform that I want. Um, nothing fancy, you know what I mean. Now I can move the pivot over here. I'm going to try and get it a mirror at least roughly where I want it to. Uh, we'll do a pause, just move it back a bit, create another joint from there to there, and pause this one. Nothing fancy. Um, we get to cross, you know, middle button if you want to translate it, but we're not, we're just not doing anything uh, clever on this, just uh, some very basic stuff. And same with this, just bend it so it's back here. I've buggered up one of the weights before, that's uh, due to me not paying attention, but uh, it'll show you what the basic idea is, okay? So, we've got a very basic pose, okay? Now, You'll notice that none of these tools, if you look over here, have a mirroring function. Um, so, assuming you want the same pose on either side of your mesh, how do you do that? Well, very simply in fact, and this is sort of my preemptive workaround. Press the V key, select stuff on the side you want the mirror. Then, right click on your layer and go mirror. Control to get rid of that, and there you go. It's as simple as that in the mirror stuff. Um, so let's go through some of the things you can do um, with posing in a very basic way. So let's first of all create a joint going about there on the head. Just make sure it's in the right place. Like that. Take the weights, turn that down, because we want that to fade out a little bit, so I'll turn it right down. I'll just erase some of them near the back of the neck there. Smooth it off a bit, you know, just make it a bit more rubbery. Right, um, now, left button rotates, as it says there, so I can rotate this backwards and forwards, or, you know, you can use that bit there. Uh, you can go from the front, the top, to get any rotation you want. Um, middle button will skate, will uh, move it up and down so you have a very big long neck like that. Um, but what you can also do is scale if you hover over the actual joint. You see how it goes to a circle? And you can scale it up like this. Sideways, I'll scale it sideways. That'll scale it up like that. Which looks a bit freaky, I've got to admit. Um, or you can hold on the shift key and scale it proportionally. And suddenly, oh man, looks like a five-year-old. Um, so they're useful little tricks to know. Now, you'll have to reset to your sculpting layer so that it'll uh, sort things out. But uh, there's no reason why you can't drastically change a mesh um, quite easily. Now, my favourite workflow for doing this sort of stuff is um, to create the part just over the part I want on a layer um, take the pose and then hover over like that and just quickly I'll scale this up so he's got really large hands. In fact, let's do it again, just do it like that and I'll hold down that there. We'll give him some really odd shaped hands, okay? Then we'll do the same thing with his feet. They are looking very strange from where I screwed up before. Just undo that. Like that there, do the same thing with the pose. Hover over until it becomes a circle. I'll hold down shift and just give them some really big feet. And in fact that could probably go with coming out. I'm also going to do something on the leg because I want to spread these out a bit. Not about there. 
just rotate this out a little bit. Uh, just so we've got something to play with. Now, do that there, same things before, press V key, then right click and go mirror X. Right? So we've got stuff like that. Now we've changed this mesh pretty much drastically uh, from where it was. Now I'll just quickly add another layer, just, just smooth some of this stuff down. Um, but I better put uh, mirroring back on and we'll just uh, smooth that down. All these flatten on here, boom, 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 like that. So we've got rid of some of the nasty bits that I had. Now, you can see there, if I use one of the new materials, this is a little tip for you. I know a lot of you missed the old mud box material. <laughs> there it is. There's all little nice ones. That's quite a nice one. There's a dark one. There's a black one with a nice rim lighting on. If you need black eyes like me, there it is. White ones, there's nice stuff like that. There's a nice marble-esque one. As well as sort of crazy ones like that. There's skin ones, there's glowing ones. But let's go back to a basic mud box material. Um, so if we turn off these layers, you can see we've drastically changed this standard mesh. So we can actually fade this in. Right? So we've got this here, and we'll just... Um, something that looks not too free. And then this one here, we'll... Like that. This one here we can uh, use to turn on and off the uh, heels on the back here. But that's the basic layer functions. So there, we've got um, a pretty interesting uh, setup straight away um, to enable us to pause things and use mirroring. But the whole point of this was mirroring. I know it's something you're going to need, and it is something that, uh, without a shadow of a doubt, um, somebody is going to... Uh, not be happy if they can't do it. Um, so there's a, uh, a quick pause. I'm just trying to do something that makes him look interesting with his head. Maybe go sideways like that. But up, up, down. There you go. So we've got nice mesh there. We can subdivide it up and sculpt. There's the first of a preview quick start for the next series. Yes, there is going to be a next series. <laughs>